And today it's all about the Toy Fox Terrier. Today we're with Jeff Wong and we've got a friend here. Who's this, Jeff? This is Samantha. She's a Toy Fox Terrier and she's seven and a half years old. How many Toy Fox Terriers do you have? Uh, at present I have her as, and I have the three puppies who are nine days old. Nine days old. Well, we'll have to take a look at those in a few minutes. All right. I understand she's an award winner. Yes, um, I campaigned her from California all the way up to Maine and she finished the championship in Wichita, Kansas at nine months old. And now let's find out more facts about the Toy Fox Terrier. The Toy Fox Terrier is a descendant of the Fox Terrier, but is now considered a separate breed. They were developed in America by crossing smooth Fox Terriers with toy breeds, including miniature pinchers, Italian Greyhounds, Chihuahuas, and Manchester Terriers. The result is a dog that's a hunter like a Terrier, but with a milder disposition from the other breeds. The Toy Fox Terrier was first developed in the 1930s and recognized by the AKC in 2003. What's the temperament like? Very sweet, they're very trainable, very intelligent, very easy to live with, uh, low maintenance. In addition to being very intelligent, they're great family pets and are outgoing, friendly, and fiercely loyal to their families. They're good living in apartments, but love to be outdoors and like to hunt and play. They're good with children, although with any toy breed, it's best not to introduce them to very young children. Because they are so fiercely loyal to their family, the Toy Fox Terrier is often called a big dog in a little package and has an ego that will dominate almost every situation. Their intelligence, though, also makes them excel at other duties. And we understand she's a therapy dog. Yes, she is. We go to um, Malaya Hospital up at Aleppo Heights twice a month first and second Saturday, and once a month we go to Kahala Nui in Kahala. Toy Fox Terriers are highly animated, comical, entertaining, and playful their whole life. If trained right, they don't bark much. They're perfect for Hawaii because they don't do well in cold weather. Although they love to hunt and play, they're also comfortable just relaxing. And Jeff, what is the coloration of Sammy? She is a black and white, black, white, and tan. Toy Fox Terriers come in a number of colors. Tricolor, which has a black head with tan markings over a white coat. The white, chocolate, and tan varieties usually have a chocolate-colored head and the body is over 50% with or without spots. White and blacks are marked the same as the white and tans. I want to ask Jeff about taking care of the Toy Fox Terrier. How about grooming, Jeff? Well, grooming is very easy. I use a curry brush, it's a rubber brush with rubber bristles, and I, I groom it like once a week. Um, I was, I'll use like a baby wipe, wipe her down, very clean. Um, if I'm gonna show her, I'll bathe her a day before the show. As for health issues, the Toy Fox Terrier has some, but overall is considered a very healthy breed. Problems that may arise include periodontal disease, knee problems, and allergic reactions to some foods. And we promised you we'd take a look at Sammy's puppies. Let's do that now. Jeff, their eyes are still closed. Uh, when do they open? Another week and a half. The pups will grow to a height of eight and a half to 11 and a half inches tall. When these guys are full grown, they'll weigh between three and a half to nine pounds. Their life expectancy is about 15 years. If you're interested in getting a Toy Fox Terrier, find a reputable breeder, do your homework, and make sure it's the right choice for you. Jeff, it sounds like mom really wants these puppies uh, back. She sure does. Maybe we ought to get them back to her. All right. And now you know all about the Toy Fox Terrier.